Hey guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane, and today I wanted to show you guys the liquid ROM that's been updated to 3.0 for the Droid X. It is a second init ROM that's built on the Cyanogen Mod 7 base. Uh, one benefit of being on the Gingerbread kernel is that you should have some better uh, battery performance, and also it will just uh, be a little smoother and you'll have better call reception uh, because it is on the newest kernel. Uh, so, from the Droid X, before you install it, you'll need to be on a Gingerbread version 4.5.602 or uh, 4.5.605 preferably. Uh, you could also flash from 4.5.595 uh, if you wanted to, but you would not get that updated baseband to uh, the P13. Uh, and you need that baseband update uh, for better qual. I'm sorry, for better call reception and quality. Uh, so I would suggest that you're on version 4.5.602 or .605 before installing this. Um, you'll install this through Droid 2 Bootstrap, but because I already have it installed and it is a second init ROM, I need to uh, boot into Recovery via ROM Manager. Um, so that's what I'll do now. We're just going to do a quick install tutorial and then I'll do a review of the ROM. Um, so go ahead and boot into Clockwork Recovery. Uh, if you're coming from Gingerbread, uh, you will just need to use Droid 2 Bootstrap. Uh, but since I already have it here, I'm going to boot in via ROM Manager. Now this ROM was supposed to have the Clockwork Recovery option built into the reboot. I mean, built into the power menu, but I didn't see it there. Okay, so once you are in Clockwork Recovery, uh, you'll install this ROM like most any other ROM, just wipe data, cache, Dalvik, and install from SD card. If you already know how to install a ROM, you can jump to my quick review. Uh, let's see here. To work through the menu, you'll go up and down with the volume, select with the camera, and go back with the back button. So we'll go ahead and select wipe data, and then you'll go down to yes. Wipe data, I already have it installed, so I'm not going to do that now. And then you'll go to Wipe Cache, and select Wipe Cache. You go down to Yes, Wipe Cache, select that. Once that's finished, you'll go down to Advanced, select that, and then you'll go to Wipe Dalvik Cache. And then you go down to the uh, where it says Yes, Wipe Dalvik Cache, and select that. Once that's finished, uh, you'll go back to the main menu here. Go to install zip from SD card, apply zip from SD card, I'm sorry, choose zip from SD card, and then you'll go to wherever you have it installed on your phone. If you downloaded it directly to your phone, it should be in the download folder. Uh, you can grab that ROM from the link in the description. I'll have it there on my website. So it should be in the download folder, select that, and then you're looking for a liquid shadow over the air English version 3.0. zip you'll select that and then go to yes install shadow over the air English version 3.0. zip you'll select that once that's finished and it should only take about five minutes to install uh, you'll go back and reboot system now and of course on the first reboot it will take several minutes to reboot uh, so don't panic And this ROM also included a custom boot animation and also several boot animations from Liquid Settings. I'll show you guys all the awesome features of this ROM. Uh, of course, because this is a CM7 style ROM, it is infinitely customizable. Just about. Alright, and of course after the first reboot you'll have the Android screen where you need to uh, sign in to your Android account. Uh, it takes a few seconds to get the launcher to load up and it'll even tell you to force close just to like wait. Okay, so that's the only laggy part about it is Launcher Pro 
uh, starting up. Other than that, it's very snappy, very fast. In fact, the quadrant scores, people have been reporting over 2,200 on the quadrant scores. I've gotten over 1,000 uh, myself. Uh, so we'll go ahead and jump into the features of this ROM. In the app drawer, you'll see the app manager. The app manager is by Jay Rummy, uh, who developed the Liberty ROM. And you can go through um, on any of these and just select any app, and they have uh, you can launch, uninstall, share, or manage your app. From the manage button, you have the option to uninstall, clear data, or move to phone. Uh, this one is moved to phone because it's already on the SD card because I had moved it there. Uh, we'll go to my forum app here and see. Well, that's already on the SD card as well. Hmm. Is anything on? Yes, yeah, see, you can just move it directly to the SD card uh, from there. And there's lots of other things here that you can do. Um, I guess, it, let's see here, if you long press it, a menu will come up here. You can launch, backup the app, restore the backup. Uh, the same as like a titanium backup here. Uh, so lots of neat features in that app manager. Pull up the app drawer again, and we'll go into liquid settings. There's a ton of features here. They also have an application manager there in uh, liquid settings. If you go into behavior, uh, there's some settings there, such as like the way the phone behaves whenever you tap it. Let's see. Uh, you can turn on and off your screen on and off animations, uh, change your rotations here, what the phone does when you rotate it. In general settings here, uh, that's what we just did. In goodies, uh, you have your theme chooser, which is pretty cool because you can actually go through here and browse and download different themes. And there's lots to choose from, as you can see. In fact, there's over a couple hundred in there. Um, you have custom boot animations here, and there's several here to choose from, probably at least, you know, a hundred in here to choose from. And you have, like, your uh, device settings there. There's some scripts that you can run. Um, in the interface, you can change your notification light colors. So if I wanted to change what the e, the LED flashed, I just go to flash color and change that to green. And every time I get an email, now my LED will flash green. Uh, you can do that for all of these apps here. And also you can change the colors of the little notifications in the status bar, like the clock. If I wanted, uh, say, like blue, I could just change that instantly there. Battery percent. Could just change that real easily. Um, same goes with like the carrier status and the date there. You can change those as well. Uh, lots and lots of customizations here. That render FX. Uh, people say that that saves some battery, but that's there for you as well. Um, you can change your lock screen and. There's different styles here. Like you saw, I had that ring style. Uh, they even have like the HTC Sense style. Uh, you have your overclocking features here where you can overclock. Um, different optimizations here under performance. And uh, you can change your notifications under the sound menu. Let's see here. I'll show you guys a little more about Theme Chooser. So under that under that theme chooser in the liquid settings, I downloaded some themes here. Uh, so we'll go to the to this this black fade, and we'll go ahead and apply it. And you'll see it already applied uh, up top there, and. If we give it a reboot, it'll change the color of our apps. Let's see, I'll go ahead and just do a quick reboot, and I'll show you that it changed the colors of the apps and such. Okay, so now that it's rebooted, you see that the app colors have changed. Um, 
if you go to the market, you can download an application that goes with uh, that goes with the theme chooser called Theme Chooser Wallpapers, and it'll instantly install the wallpapers from whatever um, theme that you chose. And so now I have these black and white wallpapers that I can choose from here, and I'll go ahead and set that. And you see now the now the theme really takes into effect here. Uh, I can also go back into my liquid settings and change like. I uh, change all of my stuff here as far as, oh, where did it go? Change all my status bar stuff here, all the colors to match my new theme. Like we could go to a white here for that. And same for the date and the carrier status as well. Okay, so you see that everything is pretty much themed out here. One other thing is you have some launcher preferences and settings here. You can go to uh, appearance settings and let's see, where is it at here? No. Home screen settings. Uh, you can change the transition effect, which is pretty cool. You can go to like a rotate or a cube. There's several options there. Uh, but it just changes the way that your launcher works, which is really neat. Home screen settings, transition effect. And now we're back to cube. Alright guys, that's all of the liquid ROM. Overall, it performs very well very fluid very quick high quadrant scores and the customization options are just about endless guys you can check me out at droidmoderx.com